want to talk about touching a tool off on the round top surface of a part in a rotary axis here. You, um, you have to be careful to get the tool lined up correctly when you do this. So um, what I'm going to show is, is when you bring, I like to use a rod, like a round dowel pin. This is a half inch dowel pin usually to do this. And I bring it up onto the part onto the end mill here and I, I carefully in this case jog it up and you have to be on Y on this lathe the center line of the part is the Y axis you have to be on center line here to make this work of course because you want to be on the center of the radius of the, of the part you're touching the tool off to and uh, you can carefully well, I'll have to get the view from the other side. You intentionally jog it down below so the rod won't go in. You carefully jog it up away from the, the part so you can, you can sort of feel the, the flutes of the tool. And in this case, see, I'm feeling it like at an angle. So I have to rotate the tool a little bit until I feel the both flutes the flute on this side and the flute on this side of the end mill and I can feel it parallel to the axis of the work right here and I can carefully jog it up until I can just you know feel it barely drag on this round rod the, the, the down the, the advantage of the round rod is you you can kind of gradually push it through. If you're using a piece of shim stock, you know, like a, down here, you can accidentally jog the tool solid into the shim stock and you can break the tip of the end mill that way. It's a little bit safer this way and you can have a better feel for it and gradually jog up away until the rod slides through and then jog it down a click or two if, it, if you have any backlash or something to take it out. And you can get the exact height of the tool this way. And on center line, if you have this rod touching both flutes, if, if, if you have an odd number of flutes, you might have to rotate the tool around, you know, a little bit like this, just to demonstrate it, until you find the, the maximum uh, position of the flute, or, or, or the, actually the, the most height, I guess you might say. So that's how I touch the tool off on a round piece of work. You know, like a work in the rotary axis, or if you have it on the fourth axis. In this case, on this lathe, it's on the C axis. And this is the X axis I'm jogging right now. It has to be on the Y zero center line, of course. So you'll be on the highest point of the round piece of work.